Hello and welcome back to welcome back to this channel. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting couple of years um, since I last posted on this channel, um, and especially in 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 sense of the in sense of the, of the football that we've um, all come accustomed to, um, the various styles of play, um, and it's crazy to think the last time I uploaded on this channel. Uh, was when um, was when Nuno was still in charge, and now um, we are two managers down the line. Since then, uh, it's crazy um, that, that 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 was only two years ago, and every, a lot of things have happened since. Uh, obviously, well, uh, just before we get we get into the video, let's just <laughs> break down what what has happened. Um, since I've last uploaded on this channel and done regular content. Very, very sad news that Nuno left that summer. Then we had a whole new tra transition period. Very weird season last season, wasn't it? Um, I mean, it had, it had some great games in there. It had some brilliant games. Of course, it had um, the now infinite, infamous game against, against Watford where not only never scored a screamer, but also um, that was the uh, last game where a striker scored. It's going to be an interesting one, because considering t t the team we're playing also is having striker issues as well. It's been a, it's been a wild ride this season in particular, definitely, hasn't it? Um, quite a weird start to the season, quite a disappointing start to the season. Um, we still we still um, can't really score that freely but it has got a lot better since Christmas um, and they have already I think it, it's testament to uh, uh, to, Lop uh, to, to Lopetegui really that he's barely been here a couple of months and there's, there's already like several memorable performances to pick out you know the Liverpool one be, being one Everton away Spurs at home last weekend I mean I could go on really the performances you know I I was really worried I was really really worried uh, and I still have been um, slightly concerned um, going from week to week because you never know you never know what what team is going to turn up but luckily we have managed to pull ourselves away from that danger zone because I don't want to I remember what it's like I remember vividly what it, what it was like um, down in that second tier, and um, I would quite like not to go back to that. I'm glad that <laughs> I'm glad that, especially oh, you, you should you should have seen me last weekend against Spurs, the widow Spurs. That last that last ten minutes for me watching that that game, oh, it, it was incredibly frantic, incredibly frantic. I could barely I could barely breathe to be honest, and I was. Uh, I was ill all night after that, so maybe that maybe that was the cause of it. Maybe that game, maybe 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 just watching that game just <laughs> just made me feel ill. Newcastle away this weekend. It's it's an interesting game. Um, definitely a game that has a history of of a lot of draws. I think it's fair to say a lot of one-all draws. Um, just use use the the reverse fixture for example, which um, well had two very good goals in it. Um, one, uh, the Newcastle goal in particular was very uh, avoidable. Perhaps maybe it could be argued we should have won that game two 0 But um, either way, looking back on it in hindsight now, it probably was uh, a very good point to get early on early on in the season, considering the way that Newcastle have kicked on now. Um, and have since pushed on towards the top four, have had a bit of a dip since Christmas, but still firmly um, in contention for top six. So, you know, a very a very good point in the reverse fixture um, in, re in retrospect, um, considering how hard Newcastle are to beat. Um, it's, it's gonna be very, very tricky because um, we always, it always seems to be, um, one of our one of our bogey trips. Um, it's one of the longest trips uh, away trips, and it it, it just feel, feels like it's you know one of those grounds one of those grounds where um, 
you have you have to start well, otherwise um, it could be a very very long uh, afternoon. I don't I don't think it's it's particularly a ground that we have performed well at. Obviously, well there there have been some some memorable performances. Um, obviously the uh, Matt Doherty that last minute winner uh, in 2018-19 comes to mind. Um, there was a, a decent performance, um, I'd say maybe uh, in 2019-20 during our European campaign, I remember that one um, very well as I was um, summing it up in, in Spain at the time. I am feeling a lot more confident this time, I am feeling a lot more hopeful. Um, because we have played... Um, in the, in the games that we have played on the under taking so far, there have been a few games I think, maybe where um, we, we've, we've played teams that we usually uh, find difficult to, uh, find difficult to beat, whether it whether it be top half teams or um, or teams uh, around us um, at the moment. Um, so maybe maybe we, maybe with. Uh, exception of the Bournemouth game, I think we've we've done pretty well with that, especially like I've mentioned before with uh, Everton away. I think obviously that was a pretty pivotal victory, um, and a and a game we probably wouldn't have won. Um, maybe well we might have won on, under Nuno, but definitely not under Bruno Lage. That game against Spurs last week, as, as stressful as it was, it did instill a lot of confidence back into me. Um, the Fulham the Fulham performance. Um, the Fulham performance the week before definitely gave me um, a lot of confidence as well. But then, um, I suppose I suppose Liverpool away kind of um, kind of leveled things out again. Yeah, hopefully, it's it's a game. I suppose after the win over Spurs, now it's not an absolute must win. Uh, because we have a bit of breathing space over the bottom three now. We have, uh, I think it's five. We're five points clear of um, of, the, of the bottom three now, so we have a, have a bit of beat breathing space. I think if we could get a point, if we could get a point and resu results go our way, and we end up six points clear um, uh, of of the bottom three by the end of the weekend, um, I think I'll be very happy. I think I'll be very happy. I mean, we've got Leeds and Forest, Leeds and Forest coming up. Looking at the, ne the next couple of games, say if we get if we got a point um, against Newcastle tomorrow, and we also um, we won against Le Leeds and Forest, um, all probably defending um, if uh, if Ruben Neves can keep his dis discipline really um, for. To, to be featured in one of those games because if he's if he's out of the picture then those games could potentially fall to pieces because we kept, because we have seen before um, I think uh, Southampton away this season is a very good example um, I think the consequences of that Mario Lamina red card were very very much delayed um, uh, to 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 the next week. I thought it was we were going to absolutely steamroll Bournemouth um, because you know Bournemouth they don't, they don't really score many goals and you know they're pretty much nailed on to go down. Although as I'm recording this, they are um, beating Liverpool at the moment, or at least, at least they were. I haven't really checked. <laughs> well, I haven't checked the score uh, since I started recording this. I think. The suspension of Mario Lamina definitely had an effect in that game, and obviously that was a relegation six-pointer as well. So it's going to be an, it's going to be an interesting few weeks. Um, I'm going to be I could I could be watch, watching the Newcastle game tomorrow through through bated breath, <laughs> hoping hoping that Nevers doesn't uh, pick up a yellow card. But um, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Um, but I'll definitely take I'll definitely take seven points out of the next nine. We have to perform well, no matter what. We just have to put in a good shift at St James's Park tomorrow because we're going to be up against it from minute one. Because they're going to have a sellout crowd as they always do, um, and the atmosphere is going to be pumping. So we're going to be 
we're going to be under the pressure from minute one. Um, but the the um, the upside of it is, and this this could come back to haunt me, uh, that Callum Wilson isn't in great great form at the moment. Um, he really hasn't been firing. So um, that's our that's our only hope that he continues that bad form. Or now I've just said that he probably probably might just score a hat trick against us. Um, but you have to hope. You have to hope. 